history would remember Belle Star as a notorious bandit queen. Like many of her male contemporaries, it's hard to tell the fact from the fiction. But this we know. She earned her reputation the old-fashioned way, through a web of outlaw friends and dead husbands. As the Civil War raged in the 1860s, Belle's family, Confederate sympathizers, moved to Texas. There, childhood friends, who were former Confederate soldiers, would join forces with Jesse James' gang to rob trains and banks and hide out at the family's home. After growing up in a world on the edge of law and order, Belle would marry Jim Reed, a former Confederate guerrilla turned criminal. She'd have two children. Reed would be gunned down trying to escape authorities, but Belle bounced back and married another criminal, Sam Starr, a member of an outlaw Cherokee family from Indian Territory. While dime store novels were filled with stories of her many exploits, Belle's only conviction came in 1883 when she and Sam were charged with stealing horses. They spent nine months in prison. Riding her horse in velvet skirts and feathered hats, Belle was known as the Bandit Queen. Her second husband would also die in a gunfight, but the two-time widow married again, this time supposedly putting an end to her outlaw activities. But a life surrounded by crime caught up with Belle. February 3, 1889, just two days shy of her 41st birthday, she was shot and killed while returning home. No one was ever convicted, even though there were many suspects, including her own family. In the cluttered haze of the Old West, Perhaps it's the fact that Belle Star was a woman that makes her story stand out. But one thing's for sure, be it countless books, TV shows, movies, and even songs, her story has endured long after her last ride into the sunset.